he took care of his brothers and sisters so well. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. he had a passion for for wildlife. And animals. And conservation. <laughs> All of them. Family says 19-year-old Riley Salisbury was a smart, experienced hunter. He's been duck hunting on Carlson Island on the Lower Columbia River numerous times. His self-made taxidermy collection is evidence of that. And the trip to Carlson Island Saturday with his dad and younger brother shouldn't have been any different. But around noon, his dad says Riley stopped responding to text messages. They had split up into two separate small boats, but were just minutes away from each other. Everything just putting it all together, uh, it just some kind of freak accident happened that we have no comprehension of, of what it was. Riley's dad called 911 when he couldn't find him. The Clatsop County Sheriff's Office helped search on the ground while a Coast Guard helicopter looked from the air. I kept thinking, oh, they're going to find him. This is silly. They found his boat, bag, and gun, but not him. In the immediate area, there was no sign of struggle. There was no sign that he had even attempted to reach for his cell phone, go for his cell phone, which is in his bag. Um, everything was in proper order in his bag. And it's literally as if someone just picked him straight up out of his position and carried him away. Um, because there's no sign of, of any type of struggle. Riley was wearing waders and likely had his face painted, so he may be hard to spot. And although his family worries, he may no longer be alive. They're asking everyone in the area to keep an eye out, especially along the river. I could at least have closure. That I, I mean, even I know, even though I know that this, I know, I know the situation didn't turn out good, but uh, if we could have closure, that'd be nice. Well, as we mentioned, the search was officially called off this afternoon. The family says the Clatsop County Sheriff's Office plans to continue doing marine patrols. His family really hopes someone in the area will find him so they can start to heal. Back to you.